Hi everyone, this is MJ Kim, MJ TV. Uh, today um, I want to introduce the, the Canadian immigration, especially for the farm section for Hong Kong and Cambodian citizens. I have a client to talk with them um, to immigrate in Canada and also um, the my uh, area uh, is a farming area so southern tip of Canada, Leamington, Ontario is close to um, the Windsor and also is close to the Detroit, the Michigan, United States uh, this is the real story, a true story about my the Canadian immigration uh, 12 years ago I moved from the United States after fi finish up my um, uh, study from Ken Kansas State University, uh, that time was uh, uh, same thing like this time being is a global pandemic, uh, COVID nineteen, um, you know, period. At that time was a Lehman Brothers collapse and four uh, GM Chrysler big threes uh, automotive collapse, and also subprime mortgage the you know issues at the time so unemployment rate it was very high I was not able to um, get a sponsor by the um, the, the private company uh, for US uh, immigration so um, that time I decided to move to Canada um, I thought it's the uh, same um, you know st um, the socials and like economic structures and all the legislation that I feel like it's uh, pr pretty much same but after I reside in Canada the system between the United States and Canada is a uh, totally different so um, in this time um, in this video I want to introduce so uh, uh, if you are a family or like uh, young people and after graduate high school and then uh, I want to share the story about my ca uh, Canadian immigration and then um, it could be success for you if, if I share the story um, I came to Canada uh, with a probably 2500 cash um, uh, it was uh, January 22nd 2008 uh, with a 2500 US dollars and I uh, with the, those uh, money and I deposit to the Canadian TD Bank. At the time, uh, Canadian currency is higher than the uh, American dollar, so it's probably uh, I converted to the 2,300 US dollars. So with that money, I was able to deposit uh, first and last month's rent in downtown Windsor, and then I, uh, after a couple of days later, and I. Um, went to the Social uh, Service Canada in order to get my SIN numbers to work so um, my immigrations begin um, right now is uh, to immigrate in, in Canada especially in Ontario uh, it's very difficult because of, um, at the time when I immigrate uh, to Canada was a foreign um, like a skilled worker streams as long as they get the uh, high education and uh, f over four years uh, working experience and then with a uh, like certain amount of settlement fund uh, to have uh, like high education and like uh, for over four years of working experience and then uh, pre uh, seven IRTS and uh, English uh, scores I was not able. Uh, I was able to uh, get it into the fe uh, federal skill program uh, as a landed immigrant. So I moved from United States to uh, Canada. It takes 16 hours to drive, but we decided to uh, take a flight from uh, Kansas City, Missouri, to um, Detroit. And then after the, um, we arrived in Detroit, and then we moved, um, dro um, drove to uh, Windsor and then we got uh, our immigration as a landed immigrant um, like uh, five back to six seven years ago when the government changed to the you know CRS systems uh, which is uh, uh, if you are over 40s uh, with a family and um, you know it's hard to uh, get in, in to uh, especially uh, uh, settle in Ontario is very difficult just because um, <coughs> um, 
you know time goes by and you're you're getting older and then 120 the point of out of uh, 1200 uh, could be zero after 46 years old so um, um, in order to immigrate in Canada and it's a uh, um, uh, more like a good chance to uh, be an immigration the, uh, like a landed immigrant if you are young uh, to try it so as I said that I don't have much much money at the time from the state to Canada uh, just because of I spend money to study uh, while I uh, uh, stay in the United States and also my son um, was born at that time um, the, for the immigration if you are single or family members and uh, those immigrations are you know do you have to have a strategy and then you know just so uh, if you are um, have a diploma for grade 12 and then you can get it into St. Clair College, it's uh, uh, close to Windsor. Actually, it's a South Windsor, it's uh, probably 15 minutes from downtown and 35 minutes um, north to um, the uh, from Leamington. So, um, if you don't have much the funds to you know pay for your the tuition, and then if you are young, you know, pretty much good for the one year program. The one year program is a fast track program it's uh, eight months uh, without the you know the school break uh, you can get it on the program after graduation then you can get the one year work permit uh, so online applications um, as of in, uh, May June it takes uh, 90 days and paper application 139 days if you go to the citizenship uh, or immigration of Canada and then they can uh, demonstrate uh, show that uh, it can be updated every month, every week, and then you know the how to, how to get a uh, work permit, and then all the applications and you know kind of things that uh, it shows in the website. Um, after graduation, uh, as long as you have a transcript and you are able to apply for postgraduate work permit, those are is a one time in a lifetime. So if you only have a one year program, then your work permit and can be uh, one year but if you um, study over two years and you get the uh, three years postgraduate work permit so right now is because of COVID-19 uh, COVID pandemic and then it's hard to get a job at this time but it's still um, a high demand of uh, you know labor shortage in the in Leamington area just because of um, the Mexican citizen Guatemalan citizen all the like uh, uh, South American uh, workers Spanish workers uh, actually, we have a uh, like a uh, high outbreak in this area for COVID-19, but because just because of uh, they are living in the you know the company dom uh, dome, and then you know it's kind of uh, same like um, um, nursing home, and so that that's why we had a uh, like a farm worker outbreak, but to live in the uh, with a uh, like a local. Uh, with the families and or just um, you know doesn't have much the infections there so you know the we still have a stage two for the COVID-19 um, so we might have to be careful make sure that everybody wear the mask and uh, two meters uh, over two meters social distance and wear the gloves and so it's you pretty much the, you have to proactive to you know the prevent to the uh, COVID-19 effect uh, positive infections um, so you're gonna choose the the college program www.stclaircollege.ca and then welding is a one-year program uh, personal support worker is a one-year program human resources management one-year program office of administrators is one-year program and then because of this uh, eight months of fast track or one year it's very tight schedule and then also if you are a student um, uh, as, at this time being and as of uh, August of, uh, until August 31st and then you are able to work in full time because the most uh, program right now they offer the online program so the government allowed uh, to the, the international students uh, who uh, study uh, currently in the you know the major program and they are able to work in up to um, you know full time 40 hours up until August 31st, but it can be extended uh, uh, if uh, 
uh, with this pandemic and the stage of state of emergency still going on. For two or three year program, uh, you guys have a summer time. In summer time, usually uh, the school break is start um, around the twentieth of April until the the, the uh, Labor Day. So your like uh, the summer break is almost four months. So uh, while you are in the summer break and maybe um, you can uh, get a full time job in, in at the farms. So probably your income could be uh, up to like if you're working the Monday to Saturday, especially most uh, uh, farm work uh, farm offers so uh, you know full time on uh, the six days a week. Um, so like your uh, gross uh, net income could be uh, 2400 to 2500 Canadian dollars. So if you are just uh, do the math and four months is probably ten thousand dollars. So you could save at least uh, you know one semester plus. Uh, uh, if you are um, uh, accepting the overtime, so working 10 to 12 hours a, a day for the summertime because the summertime is a peak season, uh, I'm pretty sure that you can uh, get um, on your tuition for savings. Um, if you are coming as a single, then probably you might choose uh, one year or two to three years, depends on your the financial the, uh, 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 situation. Also, if you uh, have a uh, families and you know husband working uh, as a, a full time and a wife or they can study as a full time, so and then you have a children's probably arrange the daycare. Uh, there are lots of things to consider, especially the transportation from Windsor to Livington, or like uh, you know your school is a South Windsor, uh, choosing the uh, school like uh, uh, housing. Or meal plan, things like that, and it uh, should be uh, concert with the uh, uh, Saint Clair, um, the recruiting agent. I'm the Saint Clair uh, recruiting agent, and then uh, I can uh, concert it uh, to you guys uh, uh, as a client, uh, as because I'm doing uh, this uh, the part time uh, recruiting after work. So my uh, office hour for the uh, Saint Clair College consultation. It's probably 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time to like a 10 p.m. So that's the five six hours. Probably your time zone is different than uh, different than ours. The only thing is I'm not able to uh, pick up the phone and email you back and forth uh, during um, uh, like a Eastern Standard Time office hours because I have a my uh, own full time job and then I can uh, disrupt it even though I have uh, this. Uh, you know business activities so opportunity to do get advanced vocational training in you know, St. Clair College is pretty good the program so right now is um they're uh, starting September uh, they, they're gonna do um, you know hybrid program which is uh, online or like a practical um, at uh, things that are like uh, they're uh, uh, doing the half and half also I um, want to introduce landscape horticulture uh, program which is uh, you can be a, a integrate the pesticide management uh, specialist, or like a, you can could be a assistant or like a, a grower uh, for the greenhouses or industrial robotic program, the, which is uh, offers with the uh, you know in Windsor there are lots of automotive industry uh, tier one, tier two, and Chrysler um, Canada or like a for the uh, powertrain. Uh, we have um, you know automotive and tier one to tier three, and also the um, uh, that c can be helpful the, if you are learn uh, how to troubleshoot the robot for industrial automation, ABB and phantom robots and, uh, or robotics welding is pretty you know helpful for you after graduation. Also, culinary program is um, you know in the Windsor. There are lots of um, you know multicultural things and Italians and Portuguese and um, Lebanese. There are lots of uh, uh, immigrant uh, that live together. So like uh, to develop your the own special the recipe and then own your the restaurants and for the futures after you settle down in Canada, uh, there are lots of um, you know opportunity to, to select for this program. Um, those are, you know, the Canadian farms. So you work in here in the greenhouse, or uh, so those three, the, this uh, Canadian greenhouse is pretty big, and probably uh, two thousand acres, and 
uh, in Leamington area. So uh, let me introduce uh, this Leamington, Ontario, the southern tip of Canada. So if you see the, this arrow, uh, Detroit in the north and the southern tip of Canada is the south and then um, that uh, island in the Canadian side is the Pili Island and then American side in the, that island is Putin Bay and then uh, you can take a ferry to go to the Sandusky, Ohio. So um, um, the characteristics and like we have uh, uh, 30 Cantonese uh, living here and Chinese and uh, the Tibetan or Burman language is 115 so there are the visual minority uh, living in uh, this area especially um, I like uh, you know Hunan chicken so like uh, that's Chinese uh, you know the Guangdong uh, those uh, cousins um, I, I like it so income portfolio so this is most important how you uh, get the, the, uh, the money. So as a student's uh, main person, you have a full-time employment during the school break. Uh, I mentioned it before. And during the semester, you can work up to 10, 10 hours per week. So if the, you are working in the in automotive industry, they are usually eight hours, three shift. So you can ask them to work uh, to, uh, to get the uh, work assignment for 16 hours per first week and 24 hours per second week so you can work on the you know you know 20 hours per week um so in order to you know after you uh working the 12 12 months as a eight months is part-time and four months full time your annual income probably up to twelve thousand. so average you can make uh, money for the one thousand a month uh, even though you get paid the uh, minimum wages a minimum wages is fourteen dollars in Ontario, and then it will be uh, fifteen cents increase after uh, October first, uh, September thirtieth. And suppose uh, uh, fifteen twenty-five. S uh, suppose work from work permit and working as a farm year round, and uh, fourteen twenty-five times forty-four. After forty-four hours, then they pay a uh, time and half. Uh, but if you're working in the farm industry, uh, they are exempt for the overtime uh, overtime uh, premium pay. So you know you can just get the straight pay. Uh, uh, depends on how many hours you work. Even working on Saturday, probably your hours of weekends probably fifty to sixty hours. And um, for the everybody can receive uh, we receive the four percent vacation pay uh, times fifty two. So you know the, if the sport your sports are working the all year round, uh, their income all year round is uh, thirty three hundred thousand dollars and you know before tax so that means that even though you are working the minimum wages and your income is over thirty thousand dollars in Canadian dollars so uh, if you are coming with uh, your husband and uh, and then like a you know a couple and uh, if they are you guys are working together and then um, it um, the income could be up to forty five thousand and then monthly three thousand dollars if you have uh, two children after eight months uh, 18 months you uh, uh, stay as a student and then uh, you can apply for child tax benefit and then you guys are usually a uh, low-income family uh, because you're working the part-time uh, so after 18 months and child tax benefit can be with the two child uh, can be the 1300 a month so first income tax year you have to in, uh, do the income tax uh, 45,000 income report after the first year is $900 a month and uh, for the you know benefit uh, re uh, recipient as a benefit recipient and then total net income including child tax benefit can be uh, 4300 so with the 4300 then you can uh, rent a house or apartment and then also it cover all your um, the tuition so prob probably without you know you know spending your own money your savings money to when you bring the money from Canada and actually you can spend the money and then you can study and then uh, you can uh, work and then that should work for you uh, transportation if you are living in Windsor and including uh, insurance and your the gas and wear and tears and um, the car payment probably will cost uh, five eight hundred dollars 
and then if you rent an apartment it's uh, including uh, all the others that you spend it maybe the housing uh, house insurance and uh, garage uh, extra garage payment and the utilities and everything like that some of um, most some of apartments uh, they offer with the uh, utility included and if you are uh, considered to um, to move to the condo probably utility is not included so those are you know extra two hundred fifty dollars and uh, car car and house expenses all together uh, should be good with uh, sixty percent of your total total income so it's uh, twenty five twenty five hundred dollars for the payment and then you can use the uh, forty percent with the grocery and savings uh, tax return time is uh, you gotta you have to uh, report your tax by uh, April thirtieth and then uh, when you make a money like this and then actually you have a child children and you have some certain amount of tax returns so processing is as follows uh, you must have to have uh, IRTS uh, academic version 5.5 or like this time uh, St. Clair College approves that if you have a Duolingo it's an online um, uh, the testing so if you go to Google uh, type uh, D U O L I N G O Duolingo if you have a 100 over 100 mark and actually we can process your like uh, uh, study permit and acceptance of um, letter of acceptance so from St. Clair College and you have a uh, director of admissions so if you need to do some like a EAP program English as a, uh, a second language program and then you have to uh, comp um, you have to have finish the, your um, level 8 so usually uh, if you are uh, if you start with a uh, level 4 it will take 6 to 8 months to six months to get the uh, level eight so after eight level eight and they will uh, the, the college will give you f uh, full time uh, student offer uh, the regular program so ERP program should not have more than 150 days to keep the student status um, so issue with the children's study or school immigration issues so that means that uh, you, you cannot have more than 120 days um, I'm just going to have a correction it's not 150 120 days if you are not be a student uh, over four months uh, you, you will get your uh, the immigration as a student in jeopardy so don't uh, planning to the take uh, um, the stop the st your study uh, this has to be uh, less than four months uh, conditional offer does not help to start work if the family expect to get a Canadian working income. Um, so that means that uh, as a like a you know English language students, and then the, your spouse will not gonna get the work permit, and also you are not able to um, the work in the part time. So make sure that in your country before you leave, and uh, you know if you uh, make sure that your IELTS has to have a 5.5 or Duolingo 100 uh, point. Uh, Duolingo is only assigned for the temporary basis because of COVID-19 and then there is hard to uh, find the IELTS uh, test center. So that's why the, uh, uh, the college allow you to uh, take a Duolingo test. The Duolingo test is only an uh, hour and like uh, 20 minutes and then the result will be released uh, within three days and then you can take a test to your home so those are good things summer break and uh, you know with a four month summer break you are you have an opportunity to work as a full time and lift truck skills Spanish English speaking skill is good for to get a farm like a you know the supervising or management job to you can be be advanced uh, you know job um, and then also the you are, you're gonna minimize the settlement fund and with the housing and car so like uh, I will give you an advice how to get a job and how to you know to apply for the job and then uh, which the um, uh, the major uh, that you want to select is the best fit for you that's um, my the consulting area so St. Clair College and um, they are doing the full-time offer. There are Charam campus and Charam campus offers and um, your uh, academic and ca ca career entrance. And also that uh, right now is they are running the pilot, uh, regional pilot program. 
So if you have a job after graduation, and then um, they uh, might select you uh, based on your the total uh, immigration score. Uh, also, the, there is a downtown campus Windsor St. Clair College Center of the Art. It's in downtown Riverside. And also the, there is a, a South Windsor campus. And so those are all the, you know, webs on um, your program. Go to the St. Clair College program and uh, post the secondary and the A to Z listing HTML. So if you go to this website, you are able to select uh, your choice. So good position to get a job after graduation is a horticulture uh, technician and landscape. So um, the horticulture technician program is uh, uh, offered in Windsor uh, campus. Uh, they are offering every September. Uh, but sometimes in January. Um, so the horticulture program is for you to be a, a greenhouse grower or integrate the uh, pesticide management program. So job selection, if you see the uh, robotic technician, because of um, uh, this area is uh, automotive. So if you are good at uh, mechanical things and electro things and the co you, you are doing good at the computer, uh, so like in those uh, electromechanical uh, the industrial robotic technician is good uh, uh, the wages so you see the median wages uh, like the average for the Canadian robotic technician uh, they will get paid 31 dollars I don't I think uh, those are uh, you know learning curve uh, after graduation probably eight uh, five minimum five years to get uh, these wages uh, why Leamington? So Leamington is the southern tip of Canada. Um, the uh, Windsor is in north, and um, Leamington in south. It so uh, takes uh, 45 minutes to uh, get in Leamington from Windsor. Uh, the kilometers uh, distance is uh, 45 kilometers. The biggest farming area in North America, 2,000 acres in one city. Uh, uh, as of October 2018, uh, legalization of ca uh, casual cannabis. Um, that uh, because of that uh, there are lots of uh, you know cannabis um, you know packaging constructions and also on um, traditional vegetables and fruit produce a lot so you have uh, enough job market in order to get a job immediately so for example an Armstrong top pack uh, uh, top line produce uh, their vacancies of 50 vacancies so they are hiring people uh, starting March it's 50 people and general labor farm is by Muchi pack their their vacancy uh, March uh, first is a uh, fifteen, and also the May sixteenth um, uh, TGG Metronardi and their vacancy vacancy is a uh, twelve, so they are hiring a lot of people at the same time. I would say then the seasonal, and then they are recruiting over two thousand three thousand uh, farm workers. So if you are willing to work and you know every day, and then you know you are not. Uh, uh, spend too much time to get in and uh, get to work. So if you see the St. Clair College Horticulture is a two-year program and it's combination with um, a horticulture and landscape. So the first semester you learn the landscape CAD, horticulture science, turf care, plant materials and um, construction and horticulture theory. Semester two is a landscape design. So like if you are doing the gardening and then like a commercial or the residentials and that's uh, good for the landscape design and plant materials and construction and horticultural theory that's what you're gonna run and also number uh, third semester also you're doing the irrigation so like uh, most uh, greenhouse in uh, Leamington and in Ontario uh, they are doing the um, hydrophonic grown so if you are not using uh, you are not um, uh, just have uh, like waters irrigations and uh, water sticks uh, comes with from the, the artificial the you know lake and then they will bring with a PVC pipe and with there is a pressure and the, all the water comes into the their plant so that irrigation aspiration those are the technique for the greenhouse um, the techniques uh, construction theory horticulture theory and choose an elective is a semester three and semester four is um arboricultures and pre-materials landscape landscape so horticultural theory 
So pretty much half is a uh, landscape and 50% is a uh, you know the fa uh, farm industries. So until the the candidate to get PR, uh, probably it's good to have if you are family members two cars to come with the uh, Saint Clair College and the uh, workplace. Uh, if you are uh, from the Leamington or like Windsor, and Saturday Sunday midnight shift and summer break, you realize this time to 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 make money. And sports, uh, sports will work continuously working at the farm to get uh, Ontario in demand, uh, you know, a permanent resident eligibility. And to get the eligibility, you will need to complete nine months. Uh, English school uh, has to be um, CLB4, and you have to have 1200 accumulated hours and continue, continuous employment until PR decision is made. So, um, uh, you're gonna spend one year. Uh, nine months to one year to get the uh, you know qualification. So after you get the sponsor from the farm uh, that you're working, and then also in order to get the, the process done, it it will take another year and six months. So total your uh, time for like a study, either one year, two years, and then also um, another spend you spend the two years, and you will get the permanent resident. Uh, consistent, I do the feedback, and while you are working, your grievance, your vocational training, and newcomer settlement consulting, that's the my field area. And then after your PR style uh, status, and then um, also you are um, uh, considered to upgrade your the career. So those are retirement and vocational career training. Actually, I'm doing the service for for you guys. So I'm uh, MJ Kim, an HR consultant, and I'm 10 years of management e experience as a human resources, health and safety, and then the production. So I'm also total 12 years of experience with the operation, and lift truck and overhead crane, uh, area lift, um, cedar lift platform. I'm a trainer uh, certification, and also I'm a joint health and safety committee management certified health and safety. And then I'm on the chapter of Windsor, the Human Resources Professional Association member, uh, USA Human Resources Management Pro Professional, SHRM. And also I'm um, registered the St. Clair College Recruiter for the, um, the you know, Asian country. And also I'm the uh, operating HR consulting firms and student summer camp organizer in Montreal. And also all the immigration matters, and I'm I have a partner with my uh, immigration firms and lawyers, and so um, I have uh, also the, my partner professional for taxations and all all kind of stuff. So um, if you are uh, interested to get it in in Canada as a, like a landed immigrant, please contact me info at mjconsulting dot website, or like uh, I have a messenger cacao talk. Uh, is a uh, uh, ID to find me is uh, MJDVM. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you want to contact me, uh, please p feel free to uh, email me, and then I'm able to answer for the process uh, uh, for the study to get the study permit and your school admission. Thank you very much.